Holy Thursday is the first day of what we call the Triduum. Those are the three days uh, that have to do with Jesus' uh, suffering, death, and his burial. And uh, Triduum meaning three. And uh, Holy Thursday is the day, of course, that Jesus institutes um, the uh, the Mass. The Last Supper is considered to be, you know, in a, in a sort of a colloquial way of speaking, the first Mass. It's also where we, we in the Catholic and the Orthodox understanding, Jesus institutes the priesthood. It, you know, takes priests to uh, to uh, celebrate the Mass, and so we, we, the understanding of the Catholics and the Orthodox are that uh, the uh, disciples there at table with Jesus were also inducted into the priesthood uh, that evening. That's kind of a crude way of putting it, but it's we, we look at two sacraments starting that day, priesthood and Eucharist. And, of course, this is what Jesus has come into the world to do. He says, you know, this. he says, take and eat. This is my body, this is my blood, which will be given up for you. This is the blood of the new covenant. You know, I am the new, um, I am the new lamb of sacrifice. You know, the Paschal lamb of the Jews at Passover, which is the, the great feast which the Jews are celebrating at this time. Um, they remember, you know, the slaughtering the Paschal lamb and the blood on the wood above the door, the wooden post above the door. That blood of the Paschal lamb smeared on the wood above the door is what saved uh, the Jewish families uh, from the avenging angel uh, in ancient Egypt just before uh, they left Egypt on the exit. This. And so, you know, the understanding among Christians is that Jesus' blood on the cross, on the wood of the cross, is saving blood. He is the new Paschal Lamb. He is the new, um, it, it's through him that that we are saved and through his death on the cross, his sacrificial death on the cross, that we attain to salvation. Now that gets to tomorrow's feast, but it is Thursday evening that Jesus actually makes the offer, that he actually says, I'm going to do this. I, you know, the, the, the bread and the wine um, are uh, symbols of what Jesus is going to do. He's going to give his body, give his blood, and, um, and be the new sacrifice for the sins of humanity. And, um, you know, it's... He says to the uh, to the disciples, and this is because you know he's Jesus, and he's kind of beyond time and space. He knows what's going to happen. He says, "I have longed to eat this Passover meal with you." It's the Passover meal that they're eating. Jesus is Jewish. It's a Passover meal that they're eating that night, and he said, "Jesus makes it sound joyful." I have longed for this. He's longed for the last night of his life. I'm, you know, okay, that's Jesus, <laughs> and that's uh, in a very short and uh, sort of abbreviated uh, fashion some of the significance of Holy Thursday, which we celebrate today. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, today we come together and celebrate in remembrance of your Last Supper. Let us rejoice that in the body and blood of you, we are renewed. Let this day be one of peace and love, and that we continue to serve others in community as you did for us. Together we are stronger. And together in you, Lord Jesus Christ, we are strongest. We ask that you continue to bless and support us as we build better the world around us. Amen.